Hello, everybody, and welcome to Inferno. You know those videos that I put out a little while ago on the hardest difficulty in Risk of Rain 2? Yeah, well, it's time to meet the new King of Difficult- Uh, not really, but kind of. If you don't remember Armageddon, or if you didn't watch any of those videos in the first place, it is intentionally designed to be unbalanced. It's ball-bustingly hard, and it don't care. Inferno, on the other hand, does get ball-bustingly hard eventually, but is a gradual ramp up about 30 minutes, instead of seemingly flipping a switch after the first stage. The main way way Inferno does this is by reworking most of the enemy AI, making them more aggressive and lethal across the board. For example, beetles are no longer walking piles of cash and instead, what the heck is that? They also can't be stunned. There are a lot of other changes that make Inferno what it is, but I'll let the gameplay speak for itself. A link to a document with all of the changes is in the description if you're curious. Finally, if you're wondering why some of the stages look a little purdy, that's because we're using the Stage Aesthetics mod. Also developed by the same person. Highly recommend. Enjoy the highlights. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when you have AoE. You don't have to worry about anything. Get some AoE. All of your dreams will come true on Inferno difficulty. Just get some AoE, forehead. It's really that simple. Are you dying on Inferno? Get some AoE. Yeah, but this is the run, dude. I feel it. I feel it in my bones right now. I was refreshed. I was getting a little irritated. I'm fully refreshed and ready to go. Ready to game. It's amazing what a little bit of movement speed, a little bit of AOE will do. All right, head stomper might save the day, boys. There we go. All right, gotta kind of line it up so we're not on the golem. All right, should go for it right in the middle. Really, you chose that. You chose, yes, Stompy. Yes, Stompy, that is what I wanted to hit. Uh, we have Scrapper. Okay, this is looking like a fantastic run. We have a Scrapper right here at the end of stage four. We'll just do that. On the way out, this will be nice. All right, we just go to Mythrix. I don't even need to kill stuff here. We just go to Mythrix. I think Mythrix is dead here. Yo, I'm trying to, trying to head stomp here. How much damage is that gonna do? Oh my! Oh, it's the Ice Man. I was like, dang, that was way more than before. It's because we have an Ice Man. Crit Printer? No way. Oh, you shouldn't have game. You shouldn't have with a laser scope. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Oh, I think I can skip pillars without this Chrysalis, but I'm not going to take a risk. Plus, Chrysalis is pretty good for Mythrix. All right, well, we got a Frost Relic or a Dios. I think it's a Frost Relic. Whoa, oh, wait, I can just do this. Whee! It is a... Oh, that was the Dios. Oh, I guess. All right, different Dios. Two extra lives, please. And thank you. I'll be leaving now. Bye-bye. Doesn't take Brittle Crown. Oh, did you see him swing? That looks sick. Did you see him running at me, swinging his hammer? Like, twirling it? Bro, that looks sick. Right there. Whatever that was. I don't think that's actually what he was doing, it, but I thought he was. Dude, that looked cool. Like, he's running at me full sprint and, like, swinging it around. Like, you know, we have a baseball bat. You, like, swing it around your wrist. Also, I kind of like the Mythrix fight not having the ad phase. Any agreeers? I kind of like Inferno Mythrix not having the ad phase at all. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! We'll see. Oh, my! Mythrix, get absolutely stompied, bro. Oh, look at me. I'm Mythrix. How do you go, go, boo? Boo. Go, 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 Mythrix. Let's go, baby. Oh. Oh, oh my. Oh, he's fast. Oh, Lord. You used to be someone I know. Chin with the stompy, baby. Yeah. Uh oh. Die, Mr. Die, die, die. <laughs> All right, don't get hit, don't get hit. This is actually really scary. The exit phase on Inferno is really scary. The explosions happen like five times more frequently. It's pretty funny. Don't get hit. All you have to do is just not get hit though. You guys are struggling on Inferno? Just don't get hit. Wait, are we good? <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Yay! Oh, we're gonna see the skin. I forgot. Let's see it. All right, here we go, boys. He rised. He rised. What does that even mean? Boom! Ew. Wait, what? Hold on, what does this look like in game? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I'm freaking, uh, what's his name? What's the first one? The villain. 
Wait, he's in like all of them, isn't he? What's his name? Davy? Is it Davy Jones? I think it's Davy Jones. Zombie Captain Barbo, Captain Barbosa. Yes, dude, that's what I am. Let's go, Captain Barbo. It's actually really cool. And that's modeled really well. Look at that, dude. That looks sick. Yo, thumbnail. Ow! Is this a thumbnail moment? <laughs> Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll, we'll worry about the thumbnail later. Oh, man. Hey, good luck. Let's go. This stage one is like actually 10 billion times better than the other stage one. It's not even close. I'll just beat it myself at some point. Hey, the pillar skip. Here we go. Hey, right on the void item. Yeah, dog. No, okay. My IRL buddies, right? Of course, what is the way? Yo, what the beetle doing? What the what the beetle doing right now? What the heck? Oh, bye bye, beetle. See you later. Oh, I was about to say no void seed. Then I looked. Then I looked. All right, the TP is not in the void seeds. We're honestly just going to hit the TP and go. We're just going to hit it and go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, screw it. We're just going. I can kill that void reaver on the boss, actually, unless it's a uh, flying boss. Like that one. All right, boom. Get me up to Midrid, bud. Ow, dude, what was that? Please, run away. I have uh, not a lot of damage here, boys. Not a lot of damage. We're going to be kind of struggling. Dude, you know what exercise I started doing relatively recently? Well, like a year ago now. Freaking face pulls. Face pulls are so good. What's a face pull? You pull. It literally looks like you're pulling a bunch of nuts into your face. I'm not kidding. You take you take the, the ropes. Take the ropes and you pull them into your face like that. Boom. Boom. You get a big big old nuts coming in your face. Mm. 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 The manliest exercise. The little baby mythrix. Baby risks. Ba baby rithix. Ba babe babe rithix. Why? 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 You're not supposed to get ads. What is this? Holy! What's with those pillars? That's the inferno pillar. Whoa! What's up? What up, Mithrix? How you doing? I'm just gonna use my pistol. Screw it. I'm just gonna shoot him with my pistol. Here we go! Oh! Here we go! Oh, what was that miss, dude? What's the worst that could happen? Little punk, let's go. Okay, I didn't want to do that right there. Let's go, punk. Boom! See ya. See ya, Mithrix. Wouldn't wanna be ya. <laughs> it's not fun. It wasn't funny. All right, easy peasy, boys. Inferno, more like Dumferno. Ah, 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 ah. Boom, baby. Let's go. All right, we can see the bandit skin. Let's see it. Boom. Oh. Ooh. We got to see in the game. Hold on. What does it look like? I like it. I like it, dude. There he is. I like it. Pretty smooth, dude. The Inferno Bandito. All right, the last but not least, let's get Commando in here, boys. Hands down, no questions asked. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I was going to say easy and lemon squeezy. That's not the right way. But I have a good feeling about today, boys. A very, very good feeling. You know, what's the point? Holy loot. Bro, large chest, two regular chests, equipment, chest, double multi-shop, multi-shop up there. Woo! We are not getting roosted today, boys. And the loot is insane, too. All right, what do we have here? Uh, no, oh, my! What is going on? Did I press, like, the give me a good run button? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Kind of unfortunate, really. Kind of unfortunate. All right, beetles, beetles, beetles. Got to watch out for the beetles. Hey, wiener saves me. The wiener actually saves me. It's done that too many times to count, so I am down to get a wiener. Yo, okay, can we get a bad item? Seriously, like, what's going on here? Uh, hey, not a bad run so far at all. Just give me a little bit of movement speed by the time we get to Sky Meadow. We'll be good, dude. Huh? Oh, this stage looks kind of cool. 
Whoa, this stage kind of cool. Uh, what are all these Lemurians doing here? Can someone uh, tell these Lemurians to stop if they just went ahead and uh, just didn't? Get away from me! Seriously, can you stop? He's just, he's just looking at me. He's just standing there menacingly. Wee woo, wee woo. Oh, the third ATG, dude. Dude, we got some damage. Cheese. Um, no, Kroby. No, honestly, I'm doing it. Don't question mark. Don't question mark. Don't question mark. Don't question mark. Trust. Uh, oh, here we go. Don't question mark. Oh, I have three ATGs. Oh, okay. You can question mark that one. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right. We have a Warhorn, a Afterburner, a Will of the Wisp, a Region Scrap, a Nothing. Oh, it's a Head Stomper. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. Um, Yeah, I think I'll take a Head Stomper. And a Leeching Seed. Look at that. We lost a Bleed. Are you kidding? Out of all of the common items you could have taken. My Head Stompy, please. Can I get up there? Thank you. All right. Let's go get some pillars done, boys. Sheesh. We're going to actually melt Mithrix, boys. Like, if I die to Mithrix, I'm not a gamer. I said it. If I somehow lose this fight to Mithrix, I'm just straight up not gaming. Correct math, yes sir. Yes sir, look at that, damn it, what? He attacked way faster. This is actually my first growth tender I fought on Inferno. He attacks way faster. Oh my damage. Oh baby, the free, okay, this is free. This run is free, dude. We get guaranteed shrimps coming out now and we get the little disciple on top of that. Oh, it's free, baby. All right, let's get out of here. It's time to leave. Should I scrap on this? Nah. But well, what's that printer? Hold up. Repulsion. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to scrap now. Yeah, so we can ignore this imp overlord entirely. Like, watch. Pick one up. Boom. <laughs> there, there's repulsion armor for you. If I had a razor wire on top of this. Oh, sheesh. You do have a razor wire? Do I? Oh, shoot. I do. You're right. We'll pick one of these bad boys up. Pick. I said pick it up. Boom. The razor wire coming in hot. Are you looping? Uh, We can loop. Sure. Why not? Actually, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, looping on Inferno is kind of nutty. Let's do some loops. And, and it was just after he put double stick. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. Oh. The forbidden spawn. The forbidden sticky bomb. Oh, oh seven for you. But sticky bombs will never, ever, 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 ever forget your sacrifice. Thank you. And sticky bombs. We will never, ever, ever, ever. Don't freeze me. Holy Forget wonder. your sacrifice. Thank you. Sticky bombs. Oh, seven, boys. Get him in here. Holy moly. Uh, please, Clay Templars. Do I have repulsions? Yo, I have eight. I have eight repulsions. I was like, how am I not dead to these Clay Templars? <laughs> eight repulsions. That's the answer. Also, this run is extremely good. On looping Inferno, <laughs> this run is pretty dang solid. What do we have? We have a little bit of crit. We have four ice bands. We got Resonance. That's a huge part of it. Resonance is so good. We have the freaking uh, Little Disciple. That's another massive part. Four Plasma Shrimp. Oh, yeah, dude. We're cooking. We are cooking. For Will the Wisp with the Void version. Uh, I kind of like Void Scent more. I'm not going to lie. I like Void Scent more because it's the front-loaded damage. So you can... It, it just feels a little more bursty. It feels like they, they, they function the same way. It's just when they do their damage. I'd rather have it at the start than most... All right, what am I doing? I have 60,000 gold. Let's go buy some loot. Energy drink. Do I, have, I do have uh, a little bit of common items. I'm sure I can print a couple. What's the worst that can happen? How fast are we right now? I feel like that's a good enough speed. 
kind of want a little more if i see a scrapper at the end of this tp i'll go hit the scrapper up i maybe could get rid of that one try tip oh my what is this stage what is this stage watches yeah mm, but this is the time in a run where the watches start shining big time when you get mobility be a good talker but being even better listener um what even did i get by the golem what even hit me there Oh, you know what? I think it was this guy. I think it was this little punk. Surely I have a ukulele. I don't have a ukulele. If I got a ukulele, like just from a random multi sh Oh my, my damage is going to go through the roof. I thought I had one. I really did. All right. Are we done here? I feel like we're done here. Why are these guys so tanky? Look at that. Are you kidding me, bro? But I think they get 7% health per stage that you complete. So these guys, and they get armor every loop. So if it's looking like I'm doing decent right now, Next stage is going to be even worse. I think it's 10 armor per loop. If I get a shattering, I'd be insane. Yeah, I've killed like nothing so far. This is crazy, man. Yeah, Night Sky Metal looks really sick for sure. Oh, he's killing everything for me. Thanks, man. This parent just killed everything for me. I'll take it. Dude, am I seriously going to loop again, chat? Yay or nay? Am I looping? I need your answer. Okay. Okay, dude. Can you die? Holy moly. ukulele that's what i'm saying where's the ukulele that's what i'm saying Ima imagine we get a ukulele here it's gonna be nuts should we take command nah we don't need to we don't need to our run is strong enough right now i'm glad i got that other guillotine because next loop this is gonna be rough the enemies are gonna be absurdly tanky now also i just realized that i could have dropped this vase already I oh baby there she is Woo! we'll take that we'll be taking that for sure Oh, baby. I love... Oh, that was a Malachite. Wow. I got. I think the Malachite Golem hit me there. Uh, oh, there goes half my HP bar. Golems, by the way. Hot. Dude, all right. If Inferno Golems are so disgusting. Wow. This would look vastly different if we didn't have a ukulele. Give me a Shattering Justice. Give me a Scorpion. I am set. Okay, like that. Don't chain like that. I got hit. Oh, I'm dead off of that. Wait. It didn't... Did I block him? I had an overloading orb on me. For sure. I guess I blocked it. Let's go. All right. Let's just hit the TP. Screw this. Screw this. Get me out of here, dude. Whoa, Beetle Queen. Did you see that? What was that? My... Dude, they're so tanky. Everything is so tanky. Like, it's not a lack of damage. I mean, it is a lack of damage, but... Like on a regular run, we would be demolishing everything in sight. Inferno makes them so tanky. I think I just go to the TP now. I think that's the play. I have to hope that we get a armor piercing legendary item or just like a behemoth, just something to increase my overall damage by a butt ton. Honestly, meat hook. Meat hook would be really nice. That would help tremendously. Blazing Clay Dune Strider. All right. Holy. Uh, what just hit my bottle? What? What just procced my elixir? This All right, these TP fights are nuts, dude. This. <laughs> this is absurd. Can you imagine if we didn't get the ukulele? Oh my. I can't stand it when you so shut down. Oh! Okay, remind me not to hold left click when I walk in your pots. Remind me. Honestly, dude, I think it's the shrimp. I'm not even joking. I think it's the shrimp. If I had regular ATGs, I feel like I'd be fine. The fact that I'm just taking damage left and right, I think shrimp is bad on Inferno. I really think I would be doing so much better if I had shields up all the time. And I have plenty of move movement speed's not an issue. It's just the AI on Inferno does not miss. They don't miss. Like that, look, I just got chunked to half from what? I don't even know what hit me. They do not miss. So I feel like ATG is just, maybe I go Transcendence. No, that would get me killed. That would get me killed for sure. I take way too much damage for that. Get me the heck out of here, woo! And it's only gonna get worse. <laughs> Next stage is gonna be even worse, dude. They are hitting me, dude. When they should not be. All right, well, look at that. It's like they, they're anti-air. We gotta hit the TP. I, I have to. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. There we go, all right, we got it. Holy moly, dude. So I'll say this, now that I'm at, oh, what even hit me? Was that all the Templar? I'll say this. Now, when you get a run going, 
Inferno is harder than Armageddon. When you start looping multiple times, Inferno is definitely harder. Because it actually keeps scaling. Once once you get a god run in Armageddon, and you get, it, let's just say once you get to like stage five or so, you're basically just killing everything like you would in a regular run. It, it's been a while, but that's what I remember. I remember once I had a really, it's just getting a, getting a really good run was so difficult. So difficult. Maybe they're equal. I may, maybe we'll say they're equal for now. I'll have to reconsult the uh, the Armageddon footage. Did we kill the boss? We killed the boss. Let's go. <laughs> 25%. One quarter. Please help. Wow. Oh, my. It is the Templars. Wow. Look at that. They're still shooting at me. They're still shooting at me. Look at how fast the vultures are. What is going on? Oh, my. Help. <laughs> what is Inferno? Again, I think I think I'd be doing a whole lot better if I had actual ATGs, not plasma shrimp. That might be the huge part of the problem. I still have my Dios, thankfully. This might just be an ATG dip here. Seventy-two percent. We're uh, like, look at dude. They instantly pivot. The Templar. Oh, that's a burning one. Uh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. All right, here we go. He's looking at me. Boom. He got stunned again. Oh, there goes my Dios. Lesson learned. Don't be on the ground when you're in front of a beetle guard. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Oh my gosh. I I think this is where we end, boys. I, I cannot foresee us getting through the next stage. Especially. Yeah, there it goes. Celestine Wisp taking us out. 07. 07. On it. Okay, if we had regular ATGs, would have been a different story. Would have had five regular ATGs because one was the shrimp. What was my damage with without that? Capped crit, ice ban. Did I even have a fire ban? Oh, here we go. Oh, I had six fire bans. A little bit of attack speed, no bleed. I mean, bleed hardly would have changed anything either. Cause it's not like I'm hitting the same target in that situation. Yeah, we were just a uh, lack of damage, unfortunate. Everything just got way too tanky. So for future reference, probably don't take plasma shrimp on Inferno. Unless you want like transcendence or something, you have perma uptime, you know?